What is credit card stacking? Credit card stacking is a strategy where a person holds multiple credit cards and uses each one to maximize the rewards and benefits offered by that card. This can include using different cards to earn rewards for different types of purchases, such as using one card for travel expenses and another for groceries, or using a card that offers a high cashback rate on gas purchases when filling up the car. Additionally, a person may use different cards to take advantage of sign-up bonuses, balance transfer offers, or other promotions. The goal of credit card stacking is to earn the most rewards and benefits possible while minimizing interest charges and other costs. What are the benefits of credit stacking? There are several benefits to credit card stacking, including Maximizing rewards, by using different cards for different types of purchases, you can earn more rewards, such as cashback or points, than you would by using just one card. Taking advantage of sign-up bonuses, many credit cards offer generous sign-up bonuses to new cardholders. By applying for multiple cards and meeting the minimum spending requirements, you can earn a significant amount of rewards. Earning more rewards on certain purchases. Some credit cards offer higher rewards rates on specific categories of purchases, such as gas or groceries. By using the appropriate card for these purchases, you can earn more rewards than you would with a general purpose card. Increasing credit limit. Having multiple credit cards can also increase your overall credit limit, which can help improve your credit score. Gaining access to exclusive perks and benefits. Some credit cards offer exclusive perks, such as travel benefits or concierge services. By having multiple cards, you can access a wider range of benefits. However, it's important to note that credit card stacking also comes with some potential downsides such as, the risk of overspending, difficulty in keeping track of multiple cards, annual fees and the risk of falling into debt if not managed properly. Can credit stacking make you recession-proof? Credit card stacking can help you earn more rewards and benefits, but it is not a strategy that can make you completely recession-proof. A recession is a severe downturn in the economy, and it can have a significant impact on many aspects of life, including employment, income, and spending. While credit card stacking can help you earn more rewards and benefits, it cannot protect you from the economic effects of a recession. It's important to have an emergency fund and also to have a budgeting plan and a strategy to pay your debt, in case of a recession. Additionally, diversifying your income streams and having multiple sources of income can help you weather a recession. In summary, credit card stacking is a strategy to earn more rewards and benefits, but it's not a foolproof method to make you recession-proof. It's important to have a comprehensive financial plan that includes savings, budgeting, and debt management. Yes, you can credit stack cards between different bureaus. When you apply for a credit card, the issuer will check your credit history with one or more of the three major credit bureaus, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. Each bureau may have slightly different information about your credit history, so your credit score and the credit limit offered on a card may vary depending on which bureau the issuer checks. Credit card stacking can be done between different bureaus, as you can apply for a credit card from different issuers that check your credit with different bureaus. This can increase your chances of being approved for a card and getting a higher credit limit. However, it's important to be aware that applying for multiple credit cards at once can have a negative impact on your credit score, so it's important to be strategic when applying for new cards. It's important to also keep in mind that having too many credit cards and applying for too many credit lines in a short period of time can be seen as a red flag by the credit bureaus and lenders, and it can affect your credit score negatively.